The visitors are... After picking up their first away point of the season last time out, Derby County are looking for more on the road. This was a League One fixture less than a year ago. Now the Rams head to Oxford United in the Championship. And then Belly down the left. And will soon continue his run. Not a bad cross and a good finish too. An opening goal from Dane Scarlett. Fine out of the drip. Who beat Elder and moves into the area. Now wasn't far away from a second goal for the home side. find Yates, Mendes Lang is lurking, here's Yates, here's Mendes Lang, and there's the equaliser, and there is Nathaniel Mendes Lang's first goal of the season, Derby back on level terms. And indeed it is, the puts a shed at the Kassam Stadium. Derby coming from behind to earn their second point on their travels this season. Marcus have been handing out food at the uh, weekly community meals down here at Pride Park. Uh, it's been great to meet a, a few people from the community and hopefully we're going to speak to uh, some students as well. Um, and it being Black History Month, it's been a Black History Month themed meal as well. So basically people come from off the street or wherever with no questions asked. They get a free meal, they get uh, hot drinks and they get whatever they want, they get a bit of a chat, um, so they get a friendly face to talk to, um, because sometimes people, this is their, their only conversation of the week. It's my first time being out in the community since I've been here, maybe yours as well. Yeah. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's nice to get to know people, see some faces from, from the local community and hear their stories as well. Today we've got the guys from Kix, um, from CODA, uh, and they've come down as part of their Black History Month provision. Um, so they're here learning about all the history for the Black History and um, basically just being part of our programmes and being part of the, the free stuff that we've got going on here. Obviously being mixed race um, and from a community that's probably similar to this, that's very mixed, uh, I think it's important to just teach some of the history of different parts of our communities and uh, yeah, it's just important for everyone to, to learn a bit more about uh, the people that they're, they're with day to day that they might not have known before, so it's, yeah, it's good. Two points on the road for the Rams, but they love playing here. Four wins from five since promotion. Mendes Lang poised. Another good delivery, and Pandor makes the save. Kane Wilson with Derby's best chance. Javier Simon scores again. Hull make the breakthrough. More we'll like it from Derby though. Off the line. And then swept wide by Adams. Something since he's come off. Osborne's delivery. Brown is up, and the save!
substitute scores. What a moment for the 19-year-old. Hello, it's Owen Bradley at Pride Park Stadium, specifically outside the DCFC Mega Store. Now it's half term this week. What better way to spend the half term afternoon than here at Pride Park meeting a couple of your Derby County heroes? Erin Cashin and Jerry Yates are inside, and there is a huge line of people here to see them. Jerry and Cash are already really busy at meeting the fans. Now it takes a lot of work to get this sort of event to happen, big team in here. Talk to me about what goes into planning an event like a signing session. So planning a signing session, it's actually one of the easiest events to logistically organise. I mean, a lot of it is down to the shop and fanatics. They support us a great deal with being able to put these events on. Um, this year, we decided for the first signing session to just take a little bit of a different route. Obviously, we do signing sessions every season and they can become a little bit mundane. So for us, a part of like the wider fan engagement initiative, looking at what else we can do. So part of this week being Halloween, half term, we decided to not only open the store for the signing session, but also the hub for the Halloween element. Well, I couldn't get in the queue and ask to speak to the guys without having something for them to sign. Jerry Yates, Erin Cashin, here you are. Um, are you enjoying yourselves today, guys? Yeah, always, always. Nice to meet, get to meet everyone and everyone queuing up. Especially to see him anyway. Yeah, he seems to be very... I don't know why I've crouched down to make myself look even smaller, Cash. <laughs> um, you're enjoying yourself. You always love these things, don't you? Yeah, I enjoy meeting the fans and um, fans like yourself. Thanks. Um, it's always good to see you. <laughs> uh, no, it's good to uh, obviously give back to the people who show support week in, week out. What's the most interesting question you've had today? Because there's been a few. Oh. Um, I had a question. We had, we had a few there, didn't we? It was like best dressed and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think... Who is the best dressed, Jerry? The best dressed? We had a couple, didn't we? We had Colo, he was quite smart day in, day yeah. out, but on a night out, uh, Corey, Blackie Corey Taylor, Taylor, apparently is a man. Well, look, there's still a massive queue, yeah. and, and I need to take these, so thanks, guys, and I'll oh, let you crack on. It. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. thanks. Well, thank you so much to the guys for taking a couple of minutes with me. There is still a huge queue of people here to meet them. They are putting in a real shift and they really do appreciate uh, everyone that has turned out today. Uh, there will be another signing session in the new year, so keep your eyes on the website dcfc.co.uk. And for that, I have got what I came for. Good evening, everybody. That was all right. We'll, we'll take that. I'm not here just to tell you about the bar this time. Uh, please welcome from Derby County's men's first team, Kenzo Houtmein and Nathaniel Mendes-Lang. Differences. That's what everybody keeps asking. And then they always ask, uh, and how are you finding it? And I'm like, easy. No, <laughs> no, I'm just like, uh, like I said, I, I feel like I'm settling more and more, but um, yeah, they always ask about the differences. Who's your favourite teammate for both of you? Uh, Mendes. <laughs> Here he is, uh, please welcome uh, Derby County Men's Head Coach, Paul Warren. And there's a real respect value between the staff and the players. And that's what I like. And when I see it come out in different ways, if I see a player hold a door open or offer a coach a cup of coffee when they're at the machine, they're all the bits that I really love. And they're the things that I'll miss when I leave football. I won't miss the last minute goal, although it's amazing. I can still see that on telly. I will miss them personal relationships that are really irreplaceable in life. That's what I'll miss. So they're the bits I love. <laughs> A cold, grey Saturday in Stoke. Not quite the cliché, but the Bet365 Stadium is Derby's next destination.
Today we've got our ETC players uh, and our female talent pathway players here today um, playing 3v3 festival throughout the day. So our ETC is our development centre at Derby. The players play for their grassroots clubs. Uh, come and train with us once a week. And our female talent pathway is our academy set up at Derby. So they, they train with us full time and play games at a weekend. So really nice opportunity to mix them all together. Uh, play some football and uh, we're also doing it in a, a smaller size pitch which is something we, we try to do to get a lot more touches on the ball and, and work in a tighter space. I think it's amazing, um, like we spoke earlier and the fact that obviously they don't have the training during half term, this is a great opportunity for them to still carry on, um, something that I wish that I had when I was younger and um, we didn't really have uh, just girls team so it's great that you've got nearly 200 girls coming down to be able to play like 3v3 and that close touch control and things like that that they can work on it's just about having fun and just kind of taking part. Yeah uh, I help out with the under 21s and under 18s goalkeepers um, I take them personally because they don't really have a coach so it's really good to get involved with them and then like also create that link between that first team and the younger ones for if they do come up it's great to have that connection. Away wins are hard to come by in the Championship. That's true for everyone this season. Derby have come up short in seven attempts so far. Attempt number eight sees the Rams visit Coventry City. Paul warns up for it, so are his side. Dennis Strong trying the trick. We saw it the weekend, and here's a chance for Derby. Yates takes it. It's Jerry Yates for the Rams, who lead after just 10 minutes at the CBS Arena. Nodded on by Forsyth. Here's Yates. He's on side despite the calls. Yates into the area. Deflection and in. to Torp has the ball. Adams blocks the way to Silva, Sakamoto, and Sakamoto pulls one back. Another goal for Jerry Yates, another trophy for the win wall.
zin in. Gewoon niet misschien daar nog een And so it's back to Pride Park. A former manager is in town, Wayne Rooney, with new side Plymouth Argyle. But more importantly, it's Derby's annual remembrance fixture. Adam Randall's deflected free kick denies Jerry Yates another match winner and gives Wayne something to smile about on his return to Derby. And you can be sure of plenty more of those with Ebu Adams around. This is the Open 12 group, um, so they've got a, an upcoming Truce tournament which is held on the 10th of November, something that Premier League do every single season. Um, it's basically an, an opportunity to educate the boys around the Christmas Truce that happened in World War I, um, and there's two opportunities to go to Belgium as part of a, a bigger tournament. Uh, the letters about the, we send it to a different academy in a different country. Um, about the Christmas truce um, in 1914 when the British and German soldiers came together in the ceasefire and they shared a uh, piece over a game of football and were like sending the letter to a different academy talking about like them and us maybe about who we play for or what we like our hobbies and our like maybe our siblings and stuff so we went into the medium and we took pictures of ourselves uh, with our bodies drawn, like the word truth um, behind the green screen. And we made it as like, like a whole team. I've got a picture of the players that created that can be in World War One, and then we've got a picture of the art team. And it's the posters like, it's what they used to use back in the day to like recruit soldiers. They've come up with some incredible ideas and, and shown some really standing up and um, how they can support others within the group and how they can support the teams and now they can create relationships across across the countries. I am, ex no, I am excited, Rome. I've adjusted the levels. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Rams TV's Generation Game, brought to you by Fanatics. Before we meet today's contestants, let's get a reminder of the rules. A cuddly toy. So lame. Right, well, it's John. Okay. We're going up a level. We say you're being a fight with this, mate. <laughs> Can't I watch? Oh, I forgot to watch them. Yeah, yeah. You'll get to watch them afterwards. Yeah, okay, cool. Kane, congratulations. Thank Kane you. scored nine points. Thanks, everyone. Round of applause for Kane, everyone.
Kane, please go and join our studio audience. So the cloth. Did you enjoy that, mate? Yeah, so I good. Really it. I like it. That's good. Could be our best content. Feel, feel free to distract <laughs> them when they're. Yeah, no, yeah, you can shout yeah. random items. Do you remember Generation? Sorry, stop it. Nah, nah, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. Now it's time to meet our next contestant. Please give a warm welcome to Josh Vickers. <laughs> Woo! Tom, that was a hat. And time is up. I think I've done, yeah. How did he go? Josh, congratulations. You scored 10 points. Yes! Please go and join our studio audience. Hey, are you sure you've done 10? I just get you said watch twice, but I've got that on the adjudicator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Now it's time to meet our next contestant. Please give a warm welcome to Jerry Yates. Batman. What do you do, Jerry? Play football. You used to play for Blackpool. Did you have a nice time up there? No, it was all right, yeah. The last time I went to Blackpool, took me. Th I went on a donkey. I got the delivery so wrong. Let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> used to play for Blackpool, didn't he, Jerry? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I knew that was. I told you that was what I was going to mess up. <laughs> Is this not in the script? No. All right. Okay. Everyone. You used to play for Blackpool, didn't you, Jerry? Did you have a nice time there? Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. The last time I went to Blackpool, I went on a donkey. Took me three days to get there. <laughs> Jerry, you scored seven points. Congratulations. That wins that, surely. <laughs> what? <laughs> Last. How do, you, how do you want this bit to work? Do you want all three of them? All three of them, yeah. Okay. And our winner with ten points, it's Josh Vickers. <laughs> Congratulations, Josh. Here's your prize. Yeah, enjoy that, pal. No, I've got loads at home. Shut up. Did you have to wear that? Yeah, oh, the flipper thing. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How's he wear that? I don't know really tight. No, I don't know. I don't know. What? That's your rugby player. <laughs> Let's get back to the serious stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy to get it done and, and to be like be able to move forward with the club and, and get on with the rest of the season and, and, and beyond. I knew where, what I wanted to do and where I wanted to be with the club. So yeah, it was it was an easy kind of conversation for me. And, and obviously when the when the conversation started, it was pretty smooth sailing. And it's the best group I've been involved with. Um, I think as you get older as well, you kind of appreciate the people that you're around and obviously the, the staff and all, the, all you guys, it's like it's a great community club, like the, like the feeling you have when you come into work, it's, it's amazing and like everyone that you see is like always smiling, everyone's happy, so it's, it's a great place to work. Tear up the training plan, winter's arrived at Moore Farm. Time to head indoors. There's a new addition to the DCFC Megastore this season. For the first time, the used replica shirt is available to buy. As a little girl, it's something that I always wanted is, you know, to go and look up to women that, you know, play for your local team. And I think it's fantastic for young girls and boys in the area that they can come up and pick a shirt out of their favourite women's pair and come and support the use. 
If I was a little girl going to Derby games and coming into the club store after the game, I'd um, be super happy that the women's shirts are here and that kind of just had the opportunity to invest in one side and get a women's shirt and obviously dream of playing for the women's team one day. I played for Derby when I was eight or nine, so if I could have had a, my own women's shirt instead of a men's shirt, it would have been really special. We have some visitors, or should that be opponents, at training this morning. The Community Trust's DS Active team threw down the gauntlet to Paul Warren at this summer's black and white ball. Captain Mikey fancies his team's chances. I did talk to Paul Warren, and Paul Warren gave me a fire saying, so your team, what we made of, gets his team. And I got, and I got two words, no, three words, gets the team. Bring it on, boys. Me and my boys, I can't wait to put you away for good. We are going to win their matches. I don't care if it's a dedicated place or not. We don't care. We're going to put them away for good. And if they don't like it, we are the main people who can do it properly. And I've got two words before I say goodbye. Go on your rams. It's not like talking down there, but... Come on, come on, come the build-up from Rams TV. This is the show that gives you everything you need to know before the big game kicks off. It's great to be back, an international break free now until March. Derby County kick off the longest stretch of their season this afternoon away at Preston. The founding members of the Football League meet for the 125th time today. Still pouring down and deep down. Forward by Osborne. And it goes again, and there's the header, and there's the goal. And here's Yates. And Derby have an equaliser. It's three and three for Jerry Yates. And it is a point for Derby. Yet another 1-1 draw for the Rams. They came from behind. 